Okay, I'm going to walk you through how I plan to make my table uh, using SketchUp, make the plans. I've already made a copy, but I'm going to go through how I would do this really quickly. Um, first things first, I'm going to draw a part for the leg. So I'm going to make a nice little square here. Um, it's not the size I want because I'm going to type in the size I want, and I want it to be a 3.5 by 3.5. So you'll notice I type that down here. I hit enter, and I've got a nice 3.5 by 3.5 square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this nice tool. It's called push-pull. So I can grab a face and I can stretch it up, stretch it down. I'm just going to stretch it up a little bit. And just like with a square, I'm going to type in 16 because that's how tall I want my leg to be. Now, you'll notice I've got a nice little leg. Now, what I need to do here is I need to turn this into what is called a component. So I selected it. I'm going to right-click and then I'm going to hit Make Component. I'm going to call this leg and the reason we do this is so I can't really mess with it anymore so if I try to push or pull off of it I can't do that which is exactly what I want so I don't mess it up later by accident um, the next part I'm going to do is what I'm going to call the top bar I'm sure there's a better term for it but that's the one I'm going to go with I'm going to draw a little rectangle along here it's going to be a two by four in real life so I'm just going to type it in here um, and I need it to be three and a half by one and a half, which is what a two by four ends up being. And then I can push or pull it right off of this face, which is kind of nice. I've got a nice little 3D structure going on here. Um, and I'm just gonna pull it off whatever, cause I know that I need it to be 16.5 inches. And now I've got it right there. Now what I need to do is I need to make this piece into a component. Um, so what I did there is I tried to select it, but it tried to pick up my leg as well. So if I'm going to hit shift and click the leg that gets rid of it, then I can right click, make it a component. I'm going to call it top bar short because um, I'm going to make a long one on the other side here. So right up here, I'm going to do the exact same things I just did. I'm going to make another rectangle coming off this edge. I'm going to connect it here. This one snaps right to the size that I need it. I'm going to push or pull it off and I'm going to make it 43 inches is what I figured it out to be. Okay. So now I have this one, and just like the last leg, I'm going to make it a component. Top bar long, I'll call it. There we go. Now the nice thing is I have these as components. I can start to duplicate the, co the component. So I'm going to copy it. I'm using Control-C on my uh, keyboard. I'm sure you can go edit, yeah, copy, and then Control-V to paste it. I know I'm going to need one here-ish, here-ish, and here-ish. You'll know I'm saying ish because I need to actually get these exactly aligned where I want them to be. So I'm going to use my select tool, select this leg, then I have to hit the move tool. If you don't do it in that order, it kind of jumps around in a weird way. So I want this corner to line up perfectly right here. Look at that, snaps right together. Now, here's something I learned early on. If I try to grab this corner and drag it, you'll notice it's dragging the other leg still. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure you hit select, select the leg you want to deal with and then move it exactly where you need to be. And then you can snap your legs exactly in place. This last leg has nowhere to really snap to, so what I need to do is copy my bar, my top bars across. So I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it, and let's see if I can get it to snap. Perfect, it's snapping right to it. And what I mean by snap is it's jumping right to where I want it. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste this one, same thing. And then what I need to do is move this guy, so. I selected it, I'm using the move tool, and there we go. Now I've got a nice view of my table frame. This is kind of the basic structure of my table. Now I'm gonna want my frame to have a bottom, or my table to have a bottom shelf. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna copy and paste my top bar um, to a lower spot along here, just like this. And that's exactly kind of what I want it to be. Um, I'm going to move it down a little bit. Um, I don't have a specific height here. I probably should, but I'm going to kind of figure that out when I see the actual table. So I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to go over here to paste it. And it's probably not going to line up perfectly because I'm not giving it dimensions, but I'll sh show you exactly how that's going to happen in a minute or two here. Um, there we go. So I've got those. Now what I need to do is create the actual parts where you can set stuff off on the table, the tops. So I'm gonna make a top and the bottom, a top and the bottom, that's a good phrase, in the, down here. I'm gonna be using two by sixes, so I'm gonna draw a little rectangle coming out, just like this. 
Um, and it's going to end up being, whoops, I'm going to do that again. It's doing some weird snapping stuff. There we go. So I'm going to go, um, what was it, 5.5, 5, which is a 2 by 6 by 1.5. There we go. Now here's a cool part with um, SketchUp. If I push or pull this face, I'm going to turn it into a nice 3D board. But if I can kind of swing around here, which I'm holding down the middle scrolly wheel on my computer mouse, um, I can snap it. I can just drag my mouse right to this face, and it lines it up perfectly. Now you remember we didn't line this bottom board up, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click it. Select it. I'm going to move it so it's right where I need it to be. There we go. Oh, and make sure you click out of it before you click anywhere else. Otherwise, you move it. Now, this board, I'm going to, I forgot to make it a component. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make it a component. I'm going to call it bottom board. Really technical stuff here. Um, and I'm going to actually make three of them across here. So I just copied it. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. I guess I could have just pasted it. And there we go. I have the bottom part of my table all set, ready to go. Now, the top part is a little bit trickier because I want the top to overhang a little bit. But I'm actually going to end up using the board from the bottom. I'm going to copy it again. And I'm going to paste it. But I'm going to come up and I'm going to paste it on the top here. Um, I want it to hang over the edges. So I need to make this a unique component because here's a cool thing with SketchUp. If I were to change this, if I double click into this and I make this board longer, I make all the boards longer, which is really cool, but not what I want to do here. So I'm going to make this component unique and this changes it totally. So it's called bottom board one up here. I'm going to change it to top board. Okay, now what I'm going to do get this into a nicer view here. I'm just going to copy and paste this across the top. I know I have on my plans, I'm going to have five of them. So it's going to look something like this. And then my other one's going to be like this, but I'm going to have to move it to make it better. Now it's overhanging on the edges like I wanted to, but it's not overhanging, or sorry, on the sides like I wanted to, but it's not overhanging on the very end like I wanted to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick any one of these, double click on it. Notice how it kind of grays everything out. That means I'm working on just this board. I'm going to pull this out an extra two inches. So I'm just going to drag it like this. It doesn't matter how far. You can make it exact on the um, screen, or you can just pull it out at any length, hit two, hit enter, and it's two inches longer on this edge. Looks good, but what I need to do is now replicate that on this edge. So I'm going to click on any one of them. I'm going to pull it out two inches, hit enter, and now I have my basic plans for my table. Connecting the things together is gonna to be a little bit trickier, but that's gonna come later. And the cool thing is I'm going to make this look nice. So I can go to materials. They have a whole bunch of things. If I wanted to make this look like asphalt, I could, but I know I'm gonna be making this out of wood. So I'm gonna use this wood cherry original. I probably won't be using that for real, but it'll make it look nice. And then it turns into a nice paint bucket tool, kind of like Microsoft Paint. I hit paint. And it just did it for one. So I'm going to hit Control A on my keyboard to select everything, paint it. There we go. Now I've got my table in wood, and I think it's going to look pretty cool.